Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me a eight-sided polygon with some, and they want to do something like this, and they're just they're missing a few steps. When you think about it, when you draw a line, I'm going to draw a two-point line, and I'm going to hit P, put it in the center of the page, and I'm going to move this line up. Your starting and stopping point need to be on the same plane or on the same stopping and starting. So we're just going to use a three-point curve line, and we're going to go from right there to that intersection and right there to that intersection, and then we're going to just move our line up. Oh, I went to the wrong intersection. I need to go to this intersection. And we're gonna, we're just gonna have this in the middle. Now I'm actually gonna take that and put a little twirl on it like they, they were kind of wanting to do. Let's zoom in here and kind of get, it doesn't really matter if you put it in the start or the end. Let's call that good. Let's, let's put another one the other direction, just maybe a little bit smaller. Well, it's hard. Now what we want to do, and this is pretty important, take that line and make it a thicker line, like eight points. I didn't have that picked. That's too thick for this. Let's go four points. I am going to go to object, convert the outline to an object. I'm going to left click, right click, and this is where they were having problems. Is it uh, one is not quite over the edge. I can take away my line now. Well, I can't. I need to leave it because I need it for watching it. Now, we need to make this line a little bit thicker or wider. So I'm going to grab right here, holding down the shift key. And the shift key is going to have it grow a little bit wider. We don't want it too wide. That'll work right there. And now I can delete this part of that line. Don't really have to do that because we can fill that in with the Smart Fill tool. Don't really have to do any of that. So we're going to take the Smart Fill tool and fill that in. Now, I'm going to get rid of that line. I'm pretty sure I've got this all grouped together. And I'm going to nudge it out of the way. I'm going to grab this line. Control D. It jumped a little bit. I saw it jump. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to go Control D. And I'm going to hit the center rotation to the center. And if you ever have problems finding the center, I did a video on this a while back. I'm going to draw a little bitty ellipse and hit P. Now, when I find try to find the center with this, it should snap to the center of that circle. Doesn't look like it is, but it's dead on. So now I'm going to Control D and make a duplicate. Rotate it 45 degrees. Control D, Control D, Control D, Control D, Control D. That's a pretty unique drawing and, and symmetrical all the way around. I, I'm not uh, sure what the purpose is. I'm going to maybe make a second video on this. Oh, and I actually had too many. On how to do this, what I think will work real good with the artistic media tool. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.